Hello, this is Eden from Helix VR. Today I'm coming to you with a beginner's guide for modding Skyrim VR. Now I say a beginner's guide specifically, we've already got some guides, but this is going to assume that you know nothing about modding whatsoever, it's going to take you through step by step, and it should explain things hopefully very clearly without assuming that you know anything about modding. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the documents folder. So I'm here now, I've already opened it up. If you don't know how to do this, on Windows 10 at least, you can just type documents into here and you'll find it. So from documents, go to my games and we're going to be looking for Skyrim. So let's see, we've got it right here, Skyrim VR. Open that. Now we might have two folders, well, a folder or file here, saves and skyrimprefs.ini, or you might just see it as skyrimprefs depending on your settings. If we open up skyrimprefs, we'll get a notepad file here. So you won't see these two lines here when you open it. So this is what you'll see, you'll just see it starting on display and going down. So what we do, we're going to insert that back here. So I've put it in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. So it's right click to paste that in. Hit file and save. And close it down. And that's all we need to do here at least. Now on to the next step. We need a piece of software called Nexus Mod Manager. Now, there is another option you may have seen there. Um, I think it's called Vortex or something along those lines. I'm going with Nexus Mod Manager because it's basically it's quite old, it's a standard, and there's going to be more support for it if you run into any issues. So, what you have to do now, just go to this page here. It's nexusmods.com forward slash Skyrim, forward slash mods, forward slash mod manager, but I'll put the link in the description so you can just click on it. And we click download. In this case, it will most likely be for you, download Win 10, 8, 7 or Vista, because I imagine that you're not running XP or anything before that. But if you do happen to be running XP, you can click this one. But let's, let's click download. Now, this will probably take a while. Um, the site does seem to respond quite slowly. So it's starting right here now. Okay, so we're going to install Nexus Model Manager now. So we've got English and I think German. I'm gonna go with English, make life easy for myself. Like, okay. We'll, uh, I'm sure, read all this licensing agreements as we always do with software. Uh, click, I accept the agreements. Next, next. You can change this if you want, but default is fine with me. So next, next. Uh, these are all fine to be associated. Click next, 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 and finish. Uh, now should launch the manager. Now click here, stop searching. So we don't want to keep searching. It's not going to find what we're looking for. Now you can see here, We've got one called Skyrim Special Edition. We don't have, well, we might have Skyrim Special Edition, but we're not looking for Skyrim Special Edition, we're looking for Skyrim VR. What we want to do is enter the path to Skyrim VR here. If you happen to know that, that's great, but I imagine that a lot of people wouldn't know it straight off. So what we're going to do, is we're going to go down to Steam here, go to Skyrim VR, right click it, and go down to properties. So left click that. We've got tabs here, we go along to local files. Click browse local files. And you can see the path at the top here. So the easiest way to do this now, just left click, right click over the text, copy, back over to the mod manager, right click and paste in there and click this tick. Now we'll always get this little error message and that's fine, just click yes. It's because we're doing the VR version rather than special edition. 
click OK. And here we click because uh, Skyrim Special Edition is already highlighted, so click OK. OK. Finish. OK. That's all fine. We don't have to worry about that. It'll just take a little bit of setup time here. So we'll do a quick time skip now. OK, we're back. So it's finished setting itself up. And you can see here we've got a list of categories of mods. So at the moment we don't have any mods, so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go get some. So let's go here to nexusmods.com again. Now I'll link these two mods that I'm going to install in the description. I'm just using them as examples. So we've got the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch and unique magic sabers. Now the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, that's all about bug fixes and stuff like that. And well, this is lightsabers. So you're going to want to register an account here, otherwise you won't be able to download. So I'll just show you the start of that quickly. But I'm sure you can uh, figure it out mostly for yourself. So we go here to register, click register now. And you've got a bunch of options here. Uh, don't be worried about all these payment options. You can support the website if you'd like to, um, just with a bit of money, or you can just click create accounts and you can create a free account. If you are paying a bit of money, I believe you can get faster downloads and such. So it's the same as any website here. Uh, type in your username, email address, password, password, and so on and so forth. And click this one at the end when you're all done and create accounts. So I've already got an account. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to sign in. Okay, so now that you're registered and hopefully logged in, we'll just um, go down here on the mod page again and we'll click files. Now, I find the easiest way is to click mod manager download. And you'll probably get something saying here, say open Nexus mod manager. You can click download, open Nexus mod manager and it'll sort it out in the manager. So let's go on to the next mod. We'll do exactly the same. So go down again, click files and choose the mod that we want, mod manager download. Open, download, open. I don't think you have to do that twice, but why not? Now let's go back to the mod manager here. So it wants us to use that username and password that we just created for the website. So let's put those in. Okay, I'm logged in. Uh, be warned, this can take a bit of time. Now if we go to the download manager here, we can see the two items that we just tried to download. We've got a unique Magicka Sabers, the lightsaber mod basically. And this one here, it's not started yet, so let's just click on that and give that a push, pressing this button here. And that should start downloading that as well, that's the uh, unofficial Skyrim patch. Now I'd be warned, if you're not a premium member, this can take a fair while. Even if you've got fast internet, it's uh, limited. So we're going to do a bit of a time skip again. Okay, we're back. We can see that both our mods here have been completed. So if we uh, get rid of the download manager here. Oh, there we go. We've got our list of categories of mods here. So looking down at the list, we've got bug fixes here. And we've got a little one in the box here rather than zero. So we've got a mod here, let's click a little plus. We've got the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. So let's click it and double click. Okay, it's got a little tick next to it, it's installed now. You may need to uh, do that a couple of times, potentially hit an OK button or something along those lines. 
Let's go down to the bottom. And we've got one here for weapons. Let's open that. Double click. There we go. That took a few clicks, small than expected. Okay, so I've just done that again. Um, we've got a little tick next to it. So they should both be installed now. Just go over here to plugins, click that. And you can see the list of mods that we have installed. Now, the reason why I chose these two mods was because if we go back to the mod page for Skyrim Special Edition patch, the unofficial one, if we go down to the requirements here, installation requirements, so it doesn't matter about this being this edition or greater, it mentions specifically after installing the mods, the following general load order needs to be followed. So we have um, basically Skyrim, Skyrim updates, the official stuff basically. And next is the patch mod, and then all the rest of the mods. So it needs to have this one first. The load order can be very important in modding. If you have the load order wrong, it can cause massive problems, unfortunately. So um, you can move the load order about by clicking it and dragging it about like this. I'll put it up here for now. The guider didn't mention the Skyrim VR ESM, but it works above there anyway. As long as it's above the Magicka Sabres mod anyway. So that's good there. So uh, now we go on to uh, the fun part, let's say. So we need to go to the app data folder and then local. So the app data folder is actually hidden. You can't see it by default. You've actually got to um, change some settings to see it. But another way you can still get there is you can type in your bar percentage app data percentage click that and we've got it right here we're actually in the roaming folder but we want to go back here to app data go to local find Skyrim special edition so we've got Skyrim VR and Skyrim special edition we want Skyrim special edition we'll just click the plugins file just to have a look here, so you can see all the mods that we've downloaded and the load order. So now let's copy these over. Again, right click to copy. Then go back to local. We go down to Skyrim VR. And uh, this should actually be empty. So let's get rid of those. So right click in this folder paste and that is basically it your Skyrim is now modded okay and we've moved over to VR so at this point we've opened up the game and you may be seeing a little message about achievements so adding mods uh, disables achievements basically there is a mod to actually re-enable achievements and mods which I'll also link below but we're going to check now if it's worked. Let's continue. Okay, so we're in Whiterun now. Now the reason why I chose to install the lightsaber mod for testing was if you go to the Blacksmith Forge, and this isn't just in Whiterun, this is anywhere, you can see on the menu here a category called Daedric. If we open this up, we can see here it's worked. We see all sorts of lightsabers that we can build. So that's just a nice, easy way to know that we've done it correctly. That's about all for how to mod the game. There are lots of possibilities in this. You may have seen already at the start some graphical improvements. You've seen that we can add new weapons like lightsabers. There's all sorts of stuff. 
you can change dragons into Thomas the Tank Engine, for example. So this is just a good point to remind you. If you like what we're doing here at Helix VR, and if this video has helped you out, please remember to like and subscribe. That really helps us out. That's about all for this topic for now. This has at least taught you the basics of how to get modding Skyrim. Hopefully this has helped you to understand the process of how to install mods. That's all for this time. Thanks. Bye.